legend tells of a triangular artifact that grants those who hold it great powers. It lies inside of a great temple guarded by knights of light and rhythm. The knights protect the caretaker, guardian of the artifact, from anyone who dares come near it. For years, I have searched for those temples, spending hours trying to pinpoint its location, and at last, I have finally found it. Once I get the triangle within my grasp, I shall absorb its power and become the most powerful ruler in all of the land. Then I will spread my reign to the farther reaches of the world and become the New World Order. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Ah, yes. The calm before the storm. Those simple guardians won't be able to suspect me until it's too late. I shall be the storm that brings the noise. I am the noise. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me right now. Hey, Cuda. It's been a while, huh? Blake, sir! Primitive swine! How did you find me here? Well, I can't let you have the artifact all to yourself, now can I? What? How did you figure out that artifact was here too? I didn't. I just waited while you did all the work. And then I followed you. <sighs> Figures. I wouldn't suspect a dumb brute like you to know anything about strategic planning. You'd be more productive with banging your head against a wall for hours on end. Ah, you know me so well. Yo, Lycan! Yeah, boss? Full speed ahead. Let's make it there before Cuda does. Right away, boss! Later, Pyramid Head! Hey! Oh, no, you don't! Oh, snap! He's sending out his snake things. Lycan, you better speed up! I have a feeling that this is gonna get messy. that sound? Intruders! I have to tell the others! Is that all you got? <sighs> oh no. That dumb brute has alerted the knights. This ends now! Hang on! We got you. Oh! Good. At least one of my problems is out of the way. Halt! Intruder! You are trespassing on sacred lands! Leave now or suffer the consequences! This is your only warning! <laughs> is that supposed to intimidate me? Your words are meaningless to me. Very well then, your fate has been decided. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Boss! Jack! I'll never let go, Jack! Ew, gross! That movie was terrible! You gotta stop getting me to watch those chick flicks with you. Good to see that you're still alive, boss! And hey, that movie was a classic. Yeah, barely. The blast almost killed us. Maybe we should have come up with a plan to beat Cuda rather than making an awesome introduction. I told you before, Lycan! Presentation is the key. I regret nothing. Sorry, boss. I forgive you. Now, 
What's our next move? Well, the rest of the minions is still knocked out, so it'll be a while until we can reform again. <sighs> wow, that battle looks intense. We should join in once we reform. I'm sure Cutie can't take two enemies at the same time. Hmm. Ah, like it. I think I have an idea. Yeah, boss? Get all the minions and retreat to our castle. Retreat? What? I'm going to the palace to get the artifact. What? Why don't we just go together? Kudo is preoccupied with those knights. If we go together, he'll come after us. But if he thinks that I retreated, then he'll be less eager to reach the artifact which will give me time to reach the artifact and steal it right from under his stupid eyeball. But what about the main caretaker of the artifact? I heard he is more powerful than all the knights combined. He'll smash you into a puddle. Like it, do you know who you're talking to? I am your king, the new fresh. If anything, the main guardian should be afraid of me. Now, as soon as the minions wake up, flee like heck and make it look convincing. Yes, sir! Great, I'll see you back at the castle. Futile attempt to defeat me. Luckily, I came prepared. Wow! Oh, that blast was too strong. We barely had enough energy to stop it. We'll have to retreat back to the palace and receive more power. Let's bring out the mechs too. Yes, now let's hurry. That's right, go and retrieve your little power-ups. Not that they'll do you any good. Hmm? Oh, right, let's... Is he... retreating? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this in the video. I can't, I can't stop laughing at that. Oh, I need to get back into acting. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that is the best thing I've seen. <laughs> hmm. What a shame. I guess that's what happens when an arrogant mind doesn't have a steady plan other than follow me. Pathetic. I guess I'll have to destroy him more gruesomely once I harness the artifact's powers. <sighs> Almost there. That artifact is as good as mine. Huh? Aha! Up there! That must be where they're keeping it! Come on! Open! I thought it would at least make it to the palace before they got back. Summoning the mechs, now! Oh! Hmm, now what is this? It's the mechs! Oh, they look so cool! Hmm, the door. Now, how am I gonna get through? <laughs> so much for the security of this place. If they didn't want anyone to get in, they should have had better protection. Hmm. 
Let's go! Hmm, not bad. But you have yet to see the full power of my machine. Let's dance! He's going to blast them! Hurry! We have to block it before it's too late! Alright, this is how it's gonna go down. I'm gonna find the Guardian, square up to him, then beat him down and take the artifact. And if he tries to stop me, then I'll just beat him down some more! Hmm. Show yourself, Guardian! I'm here to fight you for the artifact! <gasps> Wait, who are you? Uh, I'm... Uh... Uh... I, I, I'm, I'm the, the Guardian. Are you serious? You? The Guardian? The main protector of the artifact who's supposed to be the biggest and strongest out of all the knights? Um... Said to grant those who hold it great power. Suck it, Cuda! I beat you, you pink Bill Cipher looking conehead! Let's see you try to take the artifact from me now! <laughs> hey! Give that back! I earned it! No! Excuse me? In case you haven't noticed, I literally have you in a corner. So you can either give me that artifact, or I will pummel you into the ground! Mm. Mm -mm. <sighs> oh, this would have been so much easier if you were a guy! Look, I'm not leaving without that artifact, so either you give it to me now, or I'm taking you both with me! Uh, I'm not giving you the artifact! Fine then, suit yourself. We've got a long trip ahead of us. How is this possible? His machine! It exceeds above our own power! This... This is... I don't know... How can we... Hey! We're gonna get through this. We've protected the Guardian for years and have not lost a single battle. This will be no different. We were chosen to be her protectors for a reason. We will not accept defeat so easily. You guys are right. Let's give them our finishing blow. Let's transform! By the power of shapes and beats, joined together as one, we request the power of the artifact as we combine to be one!
place. <laughs> Glad it's not me up there. <sighs> so, I'm just gonna say it. You look nothing like your profile picture. <laughs> what does she have an Instagram? Can I, I, can I follow? Like, I wanna follow. <laughs> Do I leave that in? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed when you weren't as big as the legend said. I mean, I'm so happy to take an easy win, but still, I was really looking forward to a good fight. <sighs> Sorry if I talk too much, I just... I hate awkward silences. Hey, me too! Uh-oh, a fork in the road. Ugh, I hate finding my way through pathways. Let's just quickly get this over with. I'm just gonna sit you down right here. And you better not run. Because if you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have is skills. Skills that make it a nightmare for people like you. If you stay right here, like I told you, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do run, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Lycan, I'm home! Boss! You're alive! What did I tell you, Lycan? I'm the new fresh! You can't kill me! Uh, Lycan? What is this? Oh, this? This is a coffin I made for you in case you died while, you know, getting the artifact. Oh my god, Lycan! You were gonna put me in this thing when I die? I told you before, Lycan! I wanted flames and spikes on my coffin! And what's this? No flat screen TV? No Wi-Fi? How do you expect me to be entertained in this basic block? But boss, you'll be dead. You won't be able to use the TV or Wi-Fi. No, this is unacceptable. 
do it again and make it more tricked out. <sighs> so, how did it go? Did you get the artifact? As a matter of fact, I did. Hey, give that back. What the? Who's that? This here lichen is the almighty powerful guardian of the artifact. Oh my god, she's so tiny and adorable. Let's adopt her. What? Ew. No lichen, she's our prisoner now. We have to put her in like a dungeon or something. Oh, I know the perfect place. What the? Lichen, why is the cell filled with junk? Do you remember that one time we went to that big yard sale? Mm-hmm. And you thought that it would be funny to just take all the stuff? Yes. But then we went overboard and started taking stuff from inside the house, too? Fascinating. <laughs> well, why is that me, though? It's like, when you're on your 10th, damn, that's crazy, but they still talk, and it's like... Uh... And then, once we were done, we blew up the house and told the guy to shove it. Yes, please go on. Are you even listening? Yes, I'm listening. I just sort of lost interest and didn't want to interrupt your story. Anyway, we kept the guy's stuff in here and used it as a trophy for our misdeeds. Right. So, who was the guy again? It was our yoga teacher! Mr. Gray? You stole from the, the, the kind-hearted, loving Mr. Gray? I thought I knew you better than this, Blixer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that now. Oh, I really hated that guy. Okay, so where do we put this guardian then? You know, we can always get rid of that stuff. Mmm, but I kind of like it in there. Okay, then how about we just put the guardian in one of the guest bedrooms? But doesn't that defeat the whole purpose of having a prisoner? We'll put her in the bedroom with the ugly tacky design. Ew, the one with the polka dot walls and striped carpet? It's a miracle I haven't blown up that room yet. You hear that, guardian? You're gonna stay in our failed DIY project. We were going through a phase. <laughs> when you're on a 3 a.m. DIY binge. Um, please, sir, may I have my artifact back? I, I need it. <sighs> no. Hey, boss, since you have the artifact, shouldn't you be more powerful now? You know what? You're right. I don't feel like I've gained any power from this. Hey, Guardian, tell me how I can get the power out of this artifact. Um, no. Well, so much for that plan. Hey, boss, I have an idea. Why don't you just eat the artifact? What? what? That way you can digest and absorb its powers. That sounds so stupid. But I don't have any other better ideas, so YOLO. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Please don't eat it. No, 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 no. Please don't. We don't know that. <laughs> We're monsters. How can we do this to a poor, helpless soul? Lycan, she's alive. Oh, thank God. But that still doesn't change what we've done. Lycan, I don't think that's how you're supposed to use the medical equipment. Excuse me. Who is the one in here with the doctor degree? You got a doctorate degree in gender studies. Yes, and I can confirm that she is indeed a female. Oh, I swear you got the most useless degree ever. Well, how about you get a job and try to support eight families, two mortgages, and four turtles while also paying off your student loans and your sugar daddy? I'm sorry, did I miss something? <laughs> oh my god, Lycan. <laughs> Geez, sorry, there's no need to be dramatic. Uh, this whole situation is just stressing me out. I'm gonna go to the kitchen and drown my sorrows in a huge tub of chocolate ice cream. Mm, I hate this job. Ugh. It looks really bad. I'm, uh, I'm really sorry that this happened. I'm not really sure what to do here. I wish, I wish that I could help.
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really bad at these things. What? What are, you, what are you doing? Open your heart to me. What? Open your heart to me. Uh, okay. Um, I'm really sorry about what happened. I, I wish I could take it back. Whoa! Wh what the? How, how, how did? How did you? I used the energy from your heart to heal me and the artifact. What? Yeah. I, I still don't get it. How? What? Huh? Me and the artifact are the same. It's a part of me, and I'm a part of it. It's my life force. Uh huh. Anything that happens to the artifact. Also happens to me. I can feel whatever the artifact feels. Oh. 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 So, uh... You felt that when I... Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh... Sorry about that. Boss, can you open this for me? Since you're, like, the only one here with fingers. <gasps> <gasps> She's fixed! How? What? Huh? I know, right? That's what I said. Yep, I'm all better now. I'm so happy. Now I have a clear conscience. Okay, so I know I just almost killed you with eating the artifact and stuff, but I'm still taking this. Ah, oh, come on, boss. I know, I know. This is a jerk move on my end. But I went through a lot of trouble to get this thing, and I don't just want to give it back. I had to sneak past Judah while he was fighting off some knights. I literally risked my life for this thing. Yeah, I hear you guys typing in the comment section about me being rude to the Guardian. Just shut up, okay? Well, I guess that's understandable, but what about the Guardian? Don't worry, I'll put the artifact somewhere safe, where nobody will harm it. As for you, Guardian, you're still going to remain my prisoner. You're going to tell me how to get the power out of this artifact. Or else... Or else what, boss? Um... Just shut up, Lycan! She doesn't need to know my plans. Now come on, let's go. We'll have some minions guarding the door, so you better not be thinking about escaping. <laughs> well, look at that, you're still alive. I thought you would at least run away as to not meet your fate. You're not taking the artifact! Oh no. You're right. I already have. Cyan! And there's the rest of you. No! You know what? Let's contain those mechs too while we're at it. No! You! You! That's better. Now, all that leaves is the Guardian of the Artifact. No! Stop! Where is the artifact? Huh? Where's Q? We are not telling you anything! Hmm. How about you, Green? Where's the artifact? Like I would tell someone like you! Hey, triangle to triangle, where's the artifact? How about you, though, shove it in your perpendicular bisector? How flattering. So, none of you know where the artifact is. If I had to guess, it seems like your guardian took off with it without you guys knowing. No, she, she, she wouldn't, wouldn't she? 
Cyan. Shh. But hey, I'm just theorizing here. Heck it! May not even be the case, but still. I can't leave any stone unturned. Where is he going? What is that guy planning? She would she, she wouldn't leave without telling us, would she? That's not important right now, Cyan. Let's just focus on breaking free. You're right. Oh no! Our energy is low! We can't do anything without the artifact! Maybe she's not far. Maybe she took the artifact into the woods to be safe. In the woods, you say? May I ask, where exactly in the woods? What? How did you- My snakes have ears. Regardless, we are not going to tell you anything else! Yes, I doubt that you four have many useful information for me anyways. So, I'll be taking matters into my own hands. What? Hey! Wh what are you doing? You'll see. be a very honorable knight, but unfortunately, I won't let you in. What? What? What are you- ah! You know, I was hoping that it wouldn't come to this, but oftentimes reality can become disappointing. Ah! Prisoners escaping! Uh, could you handle that boss? I'm kinda in the middle of something right now. Ugh, fine. I guess I have to do everything around here. Ugh, I never have any time for myself. I'm so busy all the time. Where do you think you're going? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I suppose that you weren't trying to escape now, were you? Um, would you be mad if I was? I'd be pretty annoyed and irritated. Well, then, I'm sorry, but I need my artifact back. C can you please give it to me? You know, for a guardian said to be almighty and powerful, you sure are weak and puny. Why are you not pushing back or fighting me or something? Oh, um, was I supposed to be that way? I, I didn't know, I'm sorry. So, do you have a name, Guardian? Um, the knights call me Cube. That's just one letter away from cute! Shut up, Lycan! You're not a part of this conversation! Cube, huh? Interesting. I thought that it would be something like Bruce or Lee. You know, back when I thought that you were gonna be a guy. Oh, um, okay. But you know, now that I think about it, Cube does work as a gender-neutral name. So, what's your name? Is it Boss? No, only Lycan called me Boss. But you can call me Blixer, or New Fresh, or Your New King, or Your Future Ruler of the World, assuming that you'll show me how to get the power out of the artifact. You're a king? I will be when I get the artifact's powers. Boss and I are gonna rule the world once he gets its powers. Then we'll be able to do whatever we want. Yep, no more work, no more people telling us what to do. We will shape the world however we like. And create our own paradise. Is he making a martini? <laughs> Is he making a martini? I can probably make a far better drink than this guy made, don't you agree? <laughs> Food's done, let's eat. Ah, oh, great, I'm starving. Come sit down with us, Cube. Lycan is the best chef I have. He's also my only chef too, so he's best by default. 
Today we're having mashed potatoes and gravy with whipped cream, cherries, and sprinkles. If we're on a date and you cook that dish for me, I'd go to the bathroom and you'd never see me again. Mm. Interesting taste as usual, Lycan. I love how you experiment with the flavors. Thank you, boss. Try it, Cube. You'll love it. Huh. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, see? Lycan is a great cook. Why do you do this? Do what? Putting this into your mouth. You mean eating? Um, I think so. You think so? Wait, have you ever eaten anything before? No, never have. What? How are you not dead? I don't know. She's probably immortal, boss. Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. He's just processing this new information. <sighs> okay. I think I get it now. So, you're an immortal guardian who is not big, does not fight, is part of the artifact, has never eaten before, and can use the energy from other shapes' hearts to heal yourself. Why was this not mentioned in the legend? Legend? What legend? How do you not know about the legend? I don't know. I... I was never told about the legend. How much do you not know? I don't know. The knights haven't told me anything since... Huh? Um... Is that my artifact up there? No... Boss thought that if you put it in a high place, then you wouldn't be able to reach it. <laughs> Short people problems! I have it right here. I have, I have those problems all the time. Hey, what's up? It ain't being short! Gee, Lycan, is there anything else you would like to share? Boss also thinks that you steal shaped souls with your heart powers. I was being sarcastic, you don't need to tell her anything else. Do you guys always talk like this to each other? Psh, no. Sometimes. So tell us about yourself, Cube. Why are you so adorable and precious like a little marshmallow? Um, I don't know. Okay, then how about you tell us your life in the palace then? You know, before I kidnapped you and stuff. It was nice living at the palace. Those knights were very kind to me. We'd play games together. They would tell me stories about the outside world. Or at least they used to. Used to? We haven't had that kind of connection in years. What happened? I don't know. They sort of just stopped talking to me. Well, that's rude of them. You should have just left. I couldn't do that to them. They have a duty to protect me and the artifact. Well... You know, it's their loss. If they wanted you around, then they should have treated you better. But boss, you kidnapped her. That's not the point, Lycan. Look, if the knights are just going to shun you, why even be there at all? But it's their duty to protect and keep the artifact out of the wrong hands. We, we are meant to be protected so that the powers wouldn't get abused. It's what I've been told, and that's how it's supposed to be. So you know nothing outside of what you've been told? Yes. Oh! Wow, that really sucks. Kind of sounds like you were stuck in your own little prison. Does it really seem like that? Well, yeah, you know, that's just my opinion. Me and Lycan were in a similar situation a long time ago, right, Lycan? Right, boss. We were basically trapped in a society where we were expected to act and behave like everybody else. We were a couple of troublemakers that just didn't fit in. So we left and made our new life here in the wilderness, away from everybody else. Were you scared? <laughs> no, I never get scared. Actually, this one time, me and Boss both freaked out because we thought we heard demonic screaming in the woods, but it turns out that it was just a mountain lion mating call. I'm not joking, look it up, their mating call is terrifying. It really is. Oh, so how did you guys survive? Well, it wasn't easy, but we eventually got the hang of it. I make the best larva and cricket stew on this planet. Ooh. Mm, yes, he does. Then later on, we built this palace and made it into our home. We've been happy ever since. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I wish I could be as brave and adventurous as you. Stick around. You might learn a thing or two. <sighs> oh. 
Oh, wow. Look at the time. I guess we should get to bed. Yeah. It's been a long day. Here, I'll walk into your room, Cube. Now, don't be fooled by this kind gesture. You are still my prisoner. Oh, oh, carry your bridal style. Oh my god, shut up, Lycan. What does he mean by that? I don't know, just Lycan's being weird. All right, Cube, don't try to escape or else I'll destroy you, blah, 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 death threats, minion guards, etc., etc. Okay, then, um, where will you be sleeping? I sleep on the top floor. Lycan, elevator! Here you go, boss. <laughs> Good night, Cube. Don't forget to eat your water. Huh? So I am Confucian. Um, okay, good night. I hope that the nights are okay. Cube. Hey, Cube. Cube. You want to see something amazing? Okay, Cube, you can get off now. Oh, okay. Wow, this is an interesting place. Thank you. I like to come up here sometimes to clear my head. So, what did you want to show me, Blixer? That. <gasps> have you ever seen a sunrise before, Cube? No. I never have. It's beautiful. <laughs> I knew you would love it. We should get going now. I'm starting to get hungry. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, let's get going. This is my favorite part after coming up here. Yeah. Ah! Lycan, I'm home. Hi, boss. Hi, Cube. Did you guys enjoy your walk? Yep, she enjoyed it. Well, except for the last part. So, what's for breakfast, Lycan? Ice cream with bacon, nacho cheese, and a stick of celery. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, cute. I wanted to show you this. Look, it's the legend. I got this from a gift shop a while ago. Is that big guy supposed to be me? Yeah. You see now I was confused when I saw you? What's this? What the? Let's get in here. Eh, this is garbage. <laughs> yes! Yes, Mike Dino made it into a comic! Hey, we should go swimming. Swimming? Well... Let's get in. What? Y you're just gonna go in there? Um, yeah, that's how it works. But, but don't you need to check it first? How are you sure that it's safe? I don't know. I just go in. Look, if you're scared, Cube, I can guide you in. Here, I'll let you hold my hand. All right, we're going slowly. Yeah, there you go. Like in going ooh ooh. Ooh ooh. You see? Nothing to be scared of. Uh, are you sure? I can't see my feet. Yep, it does that. Mm. Oh wow, Cube. You're really starting to shake. Are you really that scared of water? Mm. <laughs> Cube, if you don't want to do this, we can go back to shore. No, I don't want to go back. Aren't you scared? I am, but I don't want to be. I've never got to experience the things the knights told me in their stories. All my life, I've been sheltered and protected, not knowing much about the outside world. But I don't want to live that life anymore. So, 
If I have to go through things that scare me just so I can experience more of the outside world, then so be it. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Because I like to live life on the edge! Wasn't that fun, Cube? That was quite an experience. So, still scared of the water, Cube? Not as much as I was before. Good. Now we can get to the fun part. Yo, like it! Tsunami us! <laughs> huh? What? Oh! Uh, right! Here you go, boss! Cube? Cube! I'm over here! Cube! Cube! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh no! Poor Cube! <sighs> Don't worry, Cube! I'm coming! <sighs> I'm in it! You okay, Cube? Yes, I'm fine, now that you're here. <sighs> That's good. Grab onto the minions, boss! Guess that's enough swimming for today. Let's go inside and dry off. Yeah, that sounds nice. Many, many years ago. What are we doing? What do you mean, what are we doing? I was just out here floating all by myself until you guys decided to join me. We just thought you'd like some company is all. Yeah, you've been so distant lately. We just want to make sure that you're okay. Thanks for your concern, guys, but I'm fine. I'm just in deep thought right now. Is there anything you can do to help? No, I'm fine. It's nothing. Well, in that case, do you guys want to hear some new jokes I've been working on lately? Oh. God, please, no. No, they're good this time, I swear. That's what you said last time, and we're still suffering from its cringiness. It's gonna be good, not like the last one, I promise. All right, fine, let's hear it. Okay, so, four knights walk into a bar. <laughs> oh, what was that for? That was the joke, we ran into a bar. No, you hit us with a bar, you dunce! That wasn't very nice, Cider. Ah, oh, come on. You have to admit, that joke was clever, right? You know what else is clever? My fist against your face! Hey, hey, what did one knight say to the other knight? No, no, you can't joke your way out of this one! He said... You can't touch me. <laughs> can't touch me. <laughs> Ow! Hey! Careful, that's our palace! That's it, Cider! I'm coming for you now! Get over here! Shepard, no! We've talked about this! It's not worth it! Hi. It's me again. So, yeah. It's been a while since we last talked, but, um, I've been having those thoughts again. You know, about this whole being a knight thing, it's, it's kind of starting to bother me a bit. I mean, yeah, I know we're supposed to protect you for eternity and all, but I'm not sure if I can handle all this responsibility. I just feel so incompetent. I don't know if I can do this. I can barely handle being a knight let alone being a leader. Now, I have to be one for an eternity. The others look to me for guidance and answers, but I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. I can't be the leader that they need. Our job is important, and as the leader, I should be the most stable, have all the answers, but I'm not. I can never be as good as the knights before us. Maybe... 
and be choosing me was a mistake. Cyan, you okay? Were you talking to the artifact just now? Flat, uh, what are you doing here? I wanted to check up on you. Is there something wrong? Um, it's, it's nothing. I'm fine. Don't give me that! We both know that something is wrong! I told you I'm fine. Now why don't you go- Hey guys! We're back, and in case you were wondering, yes, I won the fight. Pfft, yeah, right. Shut up, Cider. So, what were you guys talking about? Nothing. I, uh... I was just leaving. Hey, hold on a second. We're not done here. Tell me what's wrong. Nothing is wrong. Let go of me. Cyan, I just want to help. There is nothing wrong. I am fine. Now, let... Now, let go... <gasps> Cyan, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to- No, no, it's fine, I- What just happened? Cyan, who is that? Did the artifact just give birth to another shape? Cyan, did you impregnate the artifact? What? Oh my god, Cider! Hey, I'm just saying that Cyan's around the artifact a lot and you know, he gets a lot of alone time with it, so... Whoa, hey, this is the gross joke police. No making gross jokes. That 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 joke is under arrest. Shut up, Cider! Cider! around with please please give it to me it, it's a very delicate item um hello H hello who are you you don't know who I am no well then who are you I I don't know Cyan do you know what's going on is she dangerous does she spit poison is she sentient? How strong is she? If I stare into her eyes, will she steal my soul? Can she feel? Does she have any powers? If she was a cake, what flavor would she be? Wait a minute! <laughs> guys! Guys, that's enough! I think we're scaring her! Shh! Just... Just... Okay. Okay. Let's huddle up and see if we can figure this out. Alright, guys. Now, let's not lose our heads here. Clearly, we've never been in a situation like this before, and we don't know how to address it. So, any thoughts? What would happen if I poked her with a stick? Really, Cider? Yeah, she might combust. We can't risk it. Okay, clearly you guys are over-exaggerating about this situation. I highly doubt that she's harmful. You never know, Cyan. She could be a new boss for us to fight. Okay, so... We don't know who she is, or why she's here, but as far as I can tell, she doesn't pose any threat. That being said, we should keep a close eye on her and learn what we can about her existence. I call naming her. The decision's final. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her again, so you guys stay there so that we don't overwhelm her. Hello again. Um, sorry about that. My name is Cyan, and I'm the leader of the knights here that guard and protect the artifact that you're holding there. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm Flax! I'm Cider! I'm Shamrock! What did I just say? Hmm. I'm thinking her name should be something like Bruce or Lee. Seriously? That's the best you got? Okay, then. How about Sad Boy or Shy Square? Or Triangle Ears or Rectangular Prism Head? How about Cube? Ooh, I like Cube. Yeah. Yeah, Cube's nice. Ah, oh, yes, I was just going to say that. What do you think? Do you like the name Cube? Yeah, I like that name very much. Great, Cube it is. Welcome to your first day of existence, Cube. All right, she's asleep now. So, what do you guys think she is? This is crazy. What did the 
artifact just created shape out of nowhere all of a sudden. Do you think it's a type of test or something? I'm not sure. This has never been mentioned in the scriptures before. Well then, what did you say to the artifact before it happened? Nothing. My god, Cyan, really? I didn't say anything to the artifact. Cyan, if there's something you're not telling us, then I swear I've told you all everything that happened. Then why are you acting all defensive about it? I just... Yeah. Look, I said nothing to the artifact, and that's that, okay? Sure, Cyan, sure. Why can't you just tell us what you said? Why can't you guys just leave it alone? Look, I've told you all that I know, and that's it, okay? So, leave it be. Why don't you trust us, Cyan? Okay, you know what? It's getting late. You guys should be out patrolling the palace. All right, cool. I'm not in the mood for all this drama anyway, so bye. Yep, later. What? How long are you gonna keep this up? I don't know what you're talking about. Cyan! Please, just talk to me! Kevin, fine. I'll see you later. Um, Cyan? Oh, uh, Q, how long have you been awake? Not long. I woke up when Flax left. Oh, I see. Cyan, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, Cube. Do you know why I'm here? What? Do you know why I exist? Oh, um, no, I, I do not. Why do you ask? I've just been thinking about it ever since I was created. Was I meant for some greater purpose? Why did the artifact create me? Yeah, the artifact is weird like that. I've been told it has a mind of its own. It does what it wants, chooses who it wants, even if it goes against our better judgment. Oh, what else do you know about the artifact? Quite a bit, actually. Our people were very religious. Our people used to worship the artifact because they believed it was what brought life to this world. As a matter of fact, this palace used to be a temple for shapes to come and receive blessings from the artifact. Oh, really? Yeah, it was quite a sight to see. But... As time went on, everybody started migrating to new lands. Eventually, me and the other knights were left behind to remain as the eternal protectors of the artifact. And... Now... We're the last that remains of the ancient race. Do you miss them? The other shapes? I guess I do, but... Sometimes... I just worry. If... If they trusted the right shape to protect their most sacred treasure. Here, did you want your artifact back? Oh, um, thank you, Cube. I may not have been alive for long, but I think that you are the right shape to be trusted with protecting the artifact. Hey, Flax. Oh, Cyan. Uh... Hey, did, did you need something? Yeah, um, I just wanted to say, um, listen, I'm, I'm sorry about earlier. I, I shouldn't have acted the way I did. You're only trying to help, and I was just being a- Hey, it's okay. I've already forgiven you. Plus, it's gonna take a lot more than a little temper tantrum to get rid of me. Heh, <laughs> I figured much. So, then, uh, what, uh, what was wrong earlier? Um, it's hard for me to say. It's okay. I'm listening. Um, do you remember the day we got promoted to become Eternal Knights? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it's, um, go on, Cyan. Cyan, it's okay. I, 
I don't think I can be a knight for all eternity. I just don't have what it takes. I'm not strong. I'm not wise. I'm pathetic. I'm just a weak, little, pathetic shape who could barely do his job right with protecting the artifact. I shouldn't be here. I'm not worthy of this position. And why did the artifact choose me? Why not somebody else who was more qualified? Someone who was much better than me? I just... I, I don't... I... Hey. It's okay, Cyan. Everything's gonna be okay. But... But why me? Why not you, Cyan? You know what I see in you, Cyan? Loyalty, determination, perseverance, dedication, flexibility, and most importantly, a good heart. You may not see your strength, Cyan, but we do. We follow you because of it. You don't need to be the perfect strong knight with all those answers in the world. We just need you to be you and be our leader. But what about our performance in protecting the artifact? We're not as professional as the knights before us. Well, as long as the artifact is safe, we're doing our job. Even if it's not perfect, we'll be fine, Cyan. Have faith in yourself. We're going to get through this, even if it takes an eternity. Okay. Okay. I'll try. Good. And, if I'm being honest here, this eternity stuff was starting to get to me too. Really? Yeah. The thought of forever just freaks me out. But, I focus to focus on my comrade's well-being over my own. It's like a coping mechanism for me. Coping mechanism? Yeah. It keeps me sane and helps me be a better friend to everyone. Maybe that's what you need, Cyan. A way to cope with all this eternal stuff. Huh? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we should tell the other guys and see if they're feeling the same way too. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we should. Let's go. Right behind you. You guys too? I thought I was the only one. I've been coping by making jokes all the time. Even the cringy ones that make you all want to die inside. Honestly, I've just been punching things to get my mind off it. You feel better now? You're not the only one, Cyan. Yeah, I do. So, we all just admitted that immortality sucks and we have different ways of dealing with it. So, what do we do now? Cyan. Ah. Uh, what? Oh, um. We, um. Uh, we continue our duties as knights to watch over and protect the artifact. And what about Cube? Um, yeah, yeah, her too. We still need to know more about her too. Great, sounds like a plan. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go punch more things into dust. Yeah, and I'm also going to go cry under that bush over there, so... Bye, later. Well, this is just you and me. Wanna go check up on Cube and the Artifact? Yeah, I'd like that. Hey, Cube! Oh, hi, Cyan. Hi, Flax. Where did you guys go? Um, outside. Ooh, can I go too? Um, mm, not right now. Okay, then tell me about it. What did you do? What did you see? What did it look like? Oh, um, okay then. So, uh, the outside, it's like, uh, there's lots of big things. Oh, yeah, like, um, like, uh, uh, these things called rocks and trees and mountains. There's also, there's also small things too, like bugs, animals, and little plants too. Oh, yes. And there's also... God... Uh, Dang it, Flax, how are you able to do that? Okay, I'm done crying now. It took me a while to realize that I don't have any eyes, so, uh... Yeah. Hi, Hi Sidar! Sidar! Hey, uh, what's happening here? Eh, nothing much, just... Telling stories. Oh, yeah? 
What kind of stories? Uh, you know, just from our past, stuff like that. Oh, hey, the gang's all here. So, you guys having a tea party or something? Of course you would think that, Shamrock. Hey, one minute you act like a boss, and the next you're a drama queen going through some mood swings. Oh yeah, like you want to talk, Shamrock. I remember when you made a scene when you lost your crop top in that sinkhole a while ago. Oh yeah, I remember that. You were so upset you punched the whole place into a crater. Well, hey, at least I didn't get stuck inside of the sinkhole while trying to get it. Whatever, Shamrock. I didn't see you coming up with any better ideas to get your top out. Hey, it could have been worse. You could have dashed head first into a tree when a skunk ran out of the bushes. <laughs> oh my god, I told you guys to let that go. You guys are the worst, I swear. <laughs> we can't help it, Cyan. You're just so fun to tease at. Yeah, no one can dash into objects as fast and as often as you can, Cyan. <sighs> oh yeah, well, what about you, Zyder? There was that time where you levitated all the fruits at that farmer's market, and then you pretended that they were haunted. I was framed! It was the ghost of citrus fruits! <laughs> what? Yeah, right, Cyder. The whole town locked away their fruits so that you wouldn't get to them. Grapefruit. What's up with those things, right? Magic. Whoa! 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 It's fine. We're fine now. Then I said no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Poke. 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 What is this game, dude? <laughs> Are you serious? Give me a green cord! I don't have a green! I be flossing. You know what? We should call you Little Guardian of the Artifact since you're always holding it and protecting it. Hey guys, I'm back. Hi, Cyan. Hey, um, Flag Cider and Shamrock. Can I talk to you guys outside for one minute? Sure thing. We'll be right back, Cube. Okay. So, did you find a spot? I think so. We just need to scout out the area and maybe clear out a few things. Oh, this is so exciting! Cube's first time experiencing the outside world. She's gonna be so happy! I know, right? I can't wait to see the look on her face! So, what's the plan? Me and Flax are gonna go to the spot and make it look nice for when Cube comes, so you guys will watch over her until we get back, alright? Righto! Oh, I can't wait! Yeah, me too. So, if Cube asks where we went, tell her that we're out doing our regular patrolling around the palace. We'll be right back! So, where's the spot? Up north between some mountains. Cool, cool. You know, it's, uh, it's been a while since I've seen you this excited about something. Well, you know, it's, um, we're, um, is that bad? No, I think it's cute. I guess having cute around has made our duties a lot easier. Yeah, I guess it has. Wait. Wait, what is that? Smoke? Someone's here. Looks like they're camping. They could be travelers. And that's what they all say. Something doesn't feel right about this. Hey! These are sacred lands! You shouldn't be here! State your purpose! Hey! These guys want to fight! I guess they aren't innocent travelers after all! Good! That makes this a lot easier! Well, 
takes care of that. Shall we wait? Hold on. We're still not alone. What is that thing? Not sure, but it's awfully cute though. <coughs> I think it wants us to open this. Oh no. Don't don't tell me that it's Wait. We still haven't opened these yet. Yeah, but why were these guys trapped in there? What were those shapes going to do with them? Well, whatever it was, we put a stop to it, and now these little guys are free. Yeah, we should get back to the others at the palace. Let's go. <coughs> what the? <laughs> Looks like they don't want us to go. No, no, we- Ah! Flax! Flax! Aw, these little guys probably don't have anywhere to go. Flax, help! Probably been in their dark cages for so long that they don't know where they are. Flax! Aw, looks like they're scared. They probably need a place to stay. Flax, we can't bring outsiders into the palace. It's against our rules. Oh, yeah? And who's gonna enforce these rules, Cyan? Huh? It's been well over a thousand years, and I doubt there's anyone left who can stop us. <sighs> you know... I, I want to argue with you, but I already know there is no way for me to win. Isn't that obvious, huh? Yeah, yeah, fine. We'll take them with us. But for the record, I was going to make a very convincing argument. I was going to throw down some facts and throw in some deep quotes from our Elder Ones, and then make a big old presentation about what all of the other shapes may say. And then you would be like, mm, yes, Cyan, you do make a pretty good point there. Your words are wise and true, and I will never question your leadership again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure thing, Cyan. Sure thing. Cider, just admit it. You don't know how to play. And move on to something else. No, no, no. I got this, man. I got this. Let me just... I think you place this piece. Hey, guys. We're back. Oh, it's time. It's time. Calm down, Cider. Just calm down. And, uh, look what we found. Huh? Oh, my God. What are they? They're our little friends now. Do you like them? Oh, yes, I do. Hey, uh, what happened to our original plan? Eh, things got complicated. Where did you guys find them? Oh, um, you know, just, uh, we found them out in the middle of the woods. They looked lost, so we decided to bring them back here with us. Right, Cyan? Um, yeah, yeah, right. Quite an interesting find, I do say so myself. These little guys are going to be staying with us from now on. They, they are? are? Yes, they are. Our new surprise for Q. It was all Cyan's idea. Are you serious? Oh, boy. Oh, I love them. I love you guys so much. You are the greatest knights ever. You guys have shown me so much love and kindness ever since I was born, and I haven't done anything to deserve it. I'm not worth all of this. Trust us, Cube. You're worth it. You do a lot more for us than you know. Having you be a part of our lives is the best thing that ever happened to us. Oh, Cyan, I wanted to give this to you. Here, I made this for you. Oh, um, is this a scarf? Yeah, I noticed that your color is more torn compared to the other knights, and I thought that you might want something to help you look nicer. I know it's not pretty, but I think it might look good on your outfit. It's perfect. Thank you, Cube. Here, hold this. Ooh, that's a good look for you, Cyan. You look absolutely fabulous, darling. It's about time you covered up that eyesore of a collar, Cyan. You made you look like less of an insane maniac. Ah, uh, you guys are terrible, I swear. 
It looks great on you, Cyan. I'm glad you like it. So, what are you thinking about? Oh, hey, Flax. Um, just thinking about this whole day is all. Hmm. Is that so? Yeah, um... Flax... Do... Do you still think it's a good idea to take you outside? What's bugging you, Cyan? Those shapes from earlier that attacked us. They had those little guys in cages. It just bothers me to think that there are shapes out there that can be so heartless to one another. I can't imagine what those little guys went through, and I don't believe that they did anything to deserve that. Hmm. Look, I know that we all want to take you outside so badly and have her see the world, but now maybe it's best that she just stays in the palace where it's safe. Yeah. I know what you mean. I feel like we've gotten so caught up in showing Cube everything that we've forgotten why we were put in this position in the first place. I'm just... I'm not sure what to do. And to be honest, Cyan, I don't know either, but you're not wrong. From what we saw today, it does remind me how bad and hostile the world can be sometimes. And I guess this is, just shows why our job is so important in the first place. Flax, if something were to happen to Cube and we weren't there to protect her, I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I'd be able to live with myself. Well, Cyan, what does your gut say? Hey guys, so uh, I can't help but notice that there is a severe lack of us taking Cube outside today. Uh, would you guys mind telling us why? <sighs> um, guys, I, I don't think we should take Cube outside. What? Why not? I feel that it's safer for all of us to just keep her in the palace at all times. What? No! You can't be serious, Cyan! What about all our future plans with Cube and stuff? I'm sorry, but... The outside just isn't safe for Cube. Letting her out into the world could put her at risk. You're just being paranoid, Cyan. Nobody would mess with Cube while we're around. I mean, come on. We're knights for crying out loud. We have superpowers. We can kick anyone's butt. Sorry, Cider, but... I have to agree with Cyan on this. What? Not you two, Flax. You guys weren't there with us when we had to fight those other shapes in the woods. Those shapes had those little guys in cages. If we didn't come then, who knows what they would have done to them. If we let shapes like that get their hands on Cube or the artifact, then we risk having the world destroyed. But that won't happen because we're awesome. Oh, really, Sider? Have you forgotten about the last time we let our guard down with the artifact? How we let it corrupt and almost got the world destroyed? That was a mistake last time! We know better now! Yeah. We were barely able to take back control. We were lucky that we even survived. The artifact has much more power than we could possibly imagine. If it gets into the wrong hands, again, I don't know if we'll be able to contain it next time. I hate to say it, but I believe that Cyan is right about this. Maybe Cube should stay in the palace where it's safe. Are you guys serious right now? Cube is not an object. She's a living being with emotions and desires. She deserves the right to go out and experience the outside world like any other shape. I gotta stop right here and just say how much I agree with Cider right here. I cannot express how much this hits. You're never gonna experience anything in life if you don't go out and get dirty, get her, experience what it really is like. Because... As of right now, Cube isn't really living. She's just kind of existing. But Cube is not like any other shape. She was created directly from the artifact. 
And they're connected, so she's basically the artifact. What? Are you hearing yourself, Flax? I know, Cider. This is wrong for us to even be thinking this way about Q, but we need to protect her and the artifact at all costs. This is what our fellow shapes entrusted us to do when we were given this responsibility. But... But this is not fair. I know it's not. So... So Q will never get to see anything beyond the interior of our palace. I'm afraid not. So she's just gonna be stuck in there like a prisoner? Yes. Oh my lord. Do you remember what Blixer said? A while ago? Kinda sounds like you were stuck in your own little prison. Does it really seem like that? Well, yeah, you know, that's just my opinion. When he found out about Q's past? So these shapes were well aware that they were basically treating Cube like a prisoner. Even though, as of right now, she seems happier with Blixer. Are you sure that this is the right thing to do? No, but I don't see any other options right now. The world has changed a lot since we became knights. All of the shapes that we used to know and trust in the old world are gone. It's just us now. We have no idea how this new world will treat us. As far as we know, we're imposters to this new world. So, we can't trust anyone outside of our circle. I just... I just wish it didn't have to be this way. I know. Me too. So... What are we going to tell Q? We won't tell her anything. Anymore. We'll just stop telling her her stories and the outside world and stop her curiosity from growing. But Cyan, there's nothing for her out here. Come on. Let's get inside the palace. Hey, Cube. Oh, hi, guys. I was just telling some of these little guys some of your past stories in the outside world, but I can't tell it as good as you do. You think you can tell your stories again? I'm sure that these little guys would love to hear them. I'm sorry, Cube. Not right now. Maybe another time. Oh yeah, sure. That's okay, Cyan. We can wait another time. I always look forward to them. Cyan! Screaming. It stopped. Cyan! No. No. D don't tell me that. That I. Cyan! Cyan! Anything! Cyan! Cyan! Please! Please get up! Please! Please, Cyan, just say something! Please! Please! Please, Cyan! Please, Cyan! We need to. Be. We should have been able to defeat this guy a long time ago! But 
He was able to beat us and our mess! Destroy our palace! Burn the forest and electrocute our leader? How are we this weak? We usually settle enemies like him within an hour! What happened to us? Ugh. I don't know, but it's really starting to piss me off now! We need to do something! Cyan! Cyan! Oh good. He only shocked Cyan unconscious. We may still have a chance of beating him. Oh, thank God, Cyan is alive. Oh, at least we have some good news in all this chaos, but what are we gonna do now? We need to save our energy until Cyan wakes up. I don't know what to do. far just to give up now. There must be something that I'm missing here. Perhaps I may find some clues in the palace of where the artifact may have gone. What happened? Where are we? Oh! Thank God, Cyan, you're awake! Oh, good! You're up! I hope you have an idea of how to get us out of here! That triangle dude trapped us in here! We can't break out of this force field cage! Yeah, luckily he didn't try to kill us while you were knocked out. Did he... Did he find Cube or the artifact? Not as far as we know. Wherever they are, they're not on these lands anymore. Why do you say that? See for yourself. God, he burned down everything. He completely destroyed the forest. You, if she's not here, then where could she be? Wait, earlier before we got into a fight with this guy, remember we saw two big objects coming this way before he blasted away the other one? They must have both came here for the artifact. Maybe whoever was controlling that pink thing took Cube and the artifact! What? You mean, while we were busy fighting this guy and his pyramid-shaped machine? Seems likely. Oh no, 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 no! How could... How could I have let this happen? So stupid! Oh, I should have just had one of us stay here with her! Somebody has her now! And we don't know where she is, or what they are doing to her! Why did I let this happen? I'm such... Ah! I can never be... Ah! Why can't I... Hey, hey, Cyan, look at me. Look at me. We are going to be okay. Everything is going to be alright. How are you so sure, Flax? How are you so sure that everything is going to be all right? Because we have you here, Cyan. You led us through the last time we were powerless and our world was in danger, and you will do it again. You didn't give up on us then, and you won't give up on us now. We believe in you, Cyan. We know that you can do this. We know that you can get us through this setback. We need you here with us, right now. Anytime, Cyan. Well, Cyan, now that you're back together, how do you propose we get out of this mess? Same way we got out of the last one. 
These are some very strong walls from this palace. The architects surely know what they were doing when they were designing this place. Out of all the structures here, this one is still standing from the explosion. Interesting how the only damage it has is the hole from the impact. It must have been a weak spot here. Hmm. That is a very unusual dent. Are you freaking kidding me? That dull-witted pink goth pink overbite Mike Wazowski looking son of a bitchy! Yeah, maybe we should have changed into some bathing suits before we got in the water. Do you want me to wash your clothes for you, boss? Oh yeah, sure. Thanks, Lincoln. I really appreciate it. Here you go. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a lot better now. Ah. Oh, yeah, Q. Uh, would you like your clothes washed, too? Uh, oh, um, I don't know. Lycan does an amazing job of dry cleaning. It'll make your clothes look brand new. Um... Oh, yes, Q. I insist. I'll even let you borrow my clothes until yours are done. Um, okay, then. All right. Next stop, Boss's Wardrobe. Oh, hey, Q. I gotta say, that long shirt looks very nice on you. Oh, um, why, thank you. Um, what is that thing you're holding there? Oh, this? It's my electric guitar. I got this baby at a very low sales price. What does it do? It plays music. Well, if you're good at it, that is. Are you... are you good at it? Eh, I'm experienced with it. I'm not at rock star level yet, but I'm getting there. Yeah, Buzz is alright with the guitar, but what he really shines is on his DJ set. Hey, boss! You should show her! Hmm... So, this is my DJ setup. Here, I have all the equipment I need to make my own music. He started getting into music when he was a teenager. He then became obsessed with electronic music and wanted to create his own. Yep, and I'm planning one day to perform in front of people, like at a concert or something. Ooh, boss! You should play us a song! Um... Well, I don't want to toot my own horn, but... Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I do! Alright, Lycan, go into crowd mode. You're gonna love this, Cube! Alright, so, I just gotta know one thing. Are. You. Ready! No, I said, are you ready? Instead, I promise I'll be more gentle this time. Um, okay.
you! Have you ever had a thought about going spelunking? Um, no. What is that? It's basically sightseeing underground. Didn't we already do that when we were in the caves together? Well, yeah, but I meant it's like an activity instead of kidnapping. Hmm. Hey, Blixer, can I tell you a secret? Mm-hmm. A part tip redact. Um, say that again? A part tip redact scavern. I'm sorry, one more time? Ravident scavern. Kashmirga. What the? Hey! Do you guys mind? We're trying to have a talk here. Do midgets. Have night vision. No, we are not having a group chat. What do my balls smell like ham? Hey! No, we are not adding any more shapes to this line. Me and Cube are trying to have a private chat. Will my laptop get more heavy if I put more files on it? Nah, -uh, nope. You are not inviting any more minions over. Will smoking a lot of weed make me Japanese? And what are you doing? Pizza? You're not ordering a pizza on this line. Do spider have pus pus? Um, hello? Is no one hearing me? Stop adding your lines to ours. Me and Cube are trying to talk. Oh my god, are you being serious right now? What? You're living with who now? Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Hey! No, 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 no. You are not leaving with that scumbag. Go back into your room and study. Oh my god, I swear nobody ever listens to me in this house. Hmm. What's this? What? Holy sh- This phone bill is outrageous! I'm not paying for this! That's it! I have had it with these disobeying minions and their over-dependent phone uses! I just can't deal with you all right now! We're going to a more private place to chat where we won't be bothered! Are you winning, boss? Here, you deal with this. Ah, here we go. Peace at last. Lycan usually doesn't come up here, and he doesn't like it when I do, because he thinks I'm going to jump off here one day. Which, he's totally right. I'm planning on doing a stunt where I'm free-falling from here into a net at the bottom. It's going to be great. Have you ever seen the night sky before, Cube? Only some. Me and the knights would always sit up at the top of the stairs in the palace and look up at the stars through the window opening every night. But... I've never been this close to the sky before. The stars feel so close to me. It's like you can almost touch them. Yeah, it's pretty peaceful up here. Well, you know, as long as you don't focus on how high up we are and the building shifting and the breeze or stuff like that. So, um, Cube, what was the secret you wanted to tell me earlier? Uh, oh, um, I just, um, I'm really happy that I get to spend time with you here. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm pretty happy that I get to spend this time here with you, too. So, how do you like it here so far, Cube? Well, it's been quite an experience, to be honest. Oh, yeah? How so? Well, I did a lot of things that I thought I would never do, and saw a lot of things that I never even knew existed. This world is so big and amazing! Just to think, all of this was what awaited me outside of the palace walls? It must be fun getting to live your life this way. Yeah, that's great. Nothing but wilderness and endless adventure. And that makes me feel so free to be out here. Hmm. Hey, Blixer, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, Cube. Ask away. How did you get here to this point in your life? Hmm. Well, before here, I used to live much farther away in the city. City? Yeah, it was a huge, cluttered place, filled with a lot of other shapes and big structures. It was where me and Lycan grew up when we were kids. And me, similar to you, I consider that place to be my own personal prison. Apparently, I was supposed to fit into other people's standards and go along with whatever lifestyle that they thought was right for me. Everybody kept on trying to change me into what they thought I should be. When I didn't budge, they just casted me aside. 
treated me like a lost cause, tried to shame me of my own existence. I was never allowed to fully express myself in their world. It was just so irritating. I just, I just want to live my own life the way I want to instead of going by what everyone else tells me to do. Hmm. Blixer, why did you come for the artifact? Uh, well, I thought that it would be cool to have great powers, take over the world, and make people do what I say, you know, for fun and stuff like that. Do you still want to take over the world? Uh... Hmm. I don't know. You know, I didn't know how trapped I was until I came out here. I didn't know that the world was filled with so many possibilities and beauty. These past couple of days have been the best of my life so far. I'm really happy I met you, Blixer. So, here we are at your room. So I, uh, guess this is good night then. Oh wait, Blixer, I want to say one last thing before you go. Thank you for tonight. I really enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. Me too. Good night, Blixer. Yep. See you tomorrow. so much fun! I never thought in a million years I could get to do things like this. I wonder what new things we'll do tomorrow. I can't wait to tell the knights all about... knights. They don't know I'm here. And I don't know if they're okay or not. Cube! We need the artifact! Cyan? What's going on? What's that sound outside? I'll get the mechs ready! Don't worry about it, Cube. We're dealing with it right now. We just need some more energy from the artifact. Is everything alright out there? We got it, Cube. It'll all be over soon. Now, can you please just let us use the artifact? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Thank you, Cube. Alright, guys. Get ready. Alright, here we go! Yes! Now we can kick some real butt! Thanks, Cube! We'll be back soon! Wait, Cyan! Um, I just want to say... Good luck out there, and I hope that you can tell me all about it when you guys come back! Thank you, Cube. That means a lot, but now is not the time for talking. You mean a lot to us, and we don't want anything to happen to you. We'll be back once this is over, okay? Um... Okay, Cyan. Blixer! 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 <sighs> What the... Cube, what are you doing here? I loved the knights when they needed me the most. The artifact didn't give them enough energy to fight whatever they were facing outside the palace. Once they were in the underground tunnels, I couldn't feel any of their energy anymore. I don't know if they're okay or not. Did you just go up a hundred flights of stairs to my room by yourself? They could have been in danger and I just left them. 
How could I have been so careless? I should have stayed. They could be hurt or worse, and it could be all my fault. Well, technically, I kidnapped you when you didn't give me the artifacts, so... Blexer, I'm so worried about them, and I don't know what to do. No, no, don't worry, Cube. It's okay. It's just... Please, calm down. Look, um... We'll go back to the palace tomorrow, go check on your knights, and see if they're alright. Do, do you mean that? Yes. Thank you so much, Blixer. You have no idea how much this means to me. Yep, anything for you, Cube. Blixer, can I stay here with you tonight? I don't want to be alone. Yeah, you can. Boss! Cube is gone! She's not in the bedroom! Oh, it's so cute! Boss! Where did you go? Why are you not with Cube? Uh... Boss? Are you okay? I don't know, Lycan. I'm feeling off right now. What's wrong, oh. boss? I noticed that I'm starting to have these weird feelings about Cube. Eee! You're in love! Oh, I am not, Lycan! Love is stupid and gross and should be banned all over the world. This is great, boss. Now you have someone to share your life with. No, I'm not, Lycan. I'm not in love with Cube. And then you'll kiss and get married and have babies that'll look just like you. And then you will tell them the story of how you two met. Are you even listening to me? I don't love Cube. Oh, as a matter of fact, I made some fan art of what your possible children would look like. What? What is the matter with you, boss? I am not in love. Get that through your head, Lycan. Why are you so mad about this? There's nothing wrong with being in love. Yes, there is. Everything is wrong with it. Nothing good ever comes out of love. No, there isn't, boss. I've seen how you acted around her. You clearly have a connection with the Guardian. No, I am not. I have nothing with her. I don't want her. She means nothing to me. She probably just wants nothing to do with me anyways. And once she gets to know me, she'll start to point out everything that's wrong with me. And then she'll start to think that I'm a worthless, lost cause. And she'll eventually abandon me like everyone else I loved in my life. I do love Cube. I'm just afraid that I'll get hurt again. It's okay, boss. Things are different now. We've come a long way from where we were before. Yeah, but it still hurts. I hate these feelings. It makes me look weak and vulnerable. No, it doesn't, boss. You're still your same old self. I don't think any less of you. <sighs> you know, I actually promised her that I would take her back to her palace tomorrow so that she can go check on her knights there. Oh, wow. Those feelings for her must be strong if you made that kind of promise to her. <sighs> Look, I was tired, and she came into my room panicking. I didn't want her to get sad, so... I said whatever I could to calm her down, and then she and then she said that she didn't want to be alone, so I let her lay with me, and now I feel stupid because I made that stupid promise, and I know that I'm just... Ah! What am I going to do, Lycan? Well, boss, maybe you should just confess your feelings to her before we head off tomorrow. What? I can't do that, Lycan! What if she says no? What if she doesn't feel the same way towards me? What if I make it awkward between us? What if 
What if she laughs in my face and then crushes my soul and makes me wish that I was never born? You're setting me up for a death trap, like, and there's no way that she has feelings for me. I can't just go up to her and tell her I feel. That's just too blunt. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Boss, just straight up telling her isn't your style. You like to do things more extreme. Oh, I know. How about you give her a flower when you confess your love? A flower? Yeah, but not just any old regular flower. I know of a rare one that only grows at the near peak of the mountaintops. It illuminates brightly under full moon nights. And it just so happens that the nearest mountain to us has those exact flowers. If you hurry up, you can get one and be back before the sun comes up. Jeez, Lycan. I don't know. I just... Can I just say nothing and pretend that the whole conversation never happened? Yo, oh no, you don't! You went weaseling out of this thing at the last minute, boss! I've waited over 200 pages to see this ship sail, and you are not ruining this because you're scared of your own feelings! But... What if it's moving too fast? What if I screw this up? No! Shut up, boss! It's not in your character to rethink things! You just do it, and you don't care about the consequences, or what others think. You're the new fresh. Now start acting like it. But I can still be the new fresh without confessing my love, right? Get out of here, and don't come back until you have that flower and your confession. Okay, fine. But only because I want to go for a walk and clear my head from all these emotions. Good, then maybe you'll be able to figure out what to say when you confess. Good! I needed time to figure it out anyways! Good! I can't wait to hear what you come up with! Good! I am glad that you are being a supportive friend in my time of need! Good! I hope that your trip is successful! Good! I'll be back later! <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. Are you guys ready? Yeah, let's go! Is... Is... Working? Ah, it's no use! We barely have enough energy to keep our form together! Yeah, without that artifact, we're just sitting ducks! We need to get some more energy somehow! Yeah, but... How? Maybe the mechs? We can use their energy to help maintain our form to fight off this bad guy! That could work. Sounds good. But... Won't that mean that the mechs would... Yes. It would. But... It's your call, Cyan. I wish we didn't have to resort to that, but without the artifact, I guess we have no choice now. <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking. I mean, like, what am I supposed to say to her? Hey, Cube, I really like you. Do you want a date or something? I got a stash of gumballs under my bed that we can share. Oh my god, that's, that's a terrible idea. She's gonna reject me. No! 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 I don't know that! I shouldn't assume things. Maybe she does like me. And wants to be in a relationship with me as well! No, she doesn't. She thinks that I'm awful. No one would ever be interested in me. Nope! That's not true! I have a lot of great qualities! Like, my strength, and my music, and my hidden gumballs! Ooh! Plus, I can fit my whole fist inside my mouth. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm pathetic. I'll never be her type. Psh, you're right. She totally thinks that I'm cool. And she loves to hang out with me. <sighs> she doesn't like me. She hates me. She's gonna rip out my heart and eat it with gravy. Shut up, Blixer. You big crybaby. She already told you that she likes spending time with you. 
There's no need to be afraid about confessing your love to her! It's settled, okay? We're going to tell Cube how we feel about her, and that's final! <gasps> there it is! Wow. That's so amazing. You sure are a hard flower to find. Cube's gonna love you for sure. Huh? Hey! Who's there? Cuda? Sup? What? What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just enjoying the peaceful serenity of the nighttime air. Oh, yeah. It's pretty peaceful up here tonight. Nothing too crazy going on out here. Hmm. Yep. She's playing you, Blixer. What? That little guardian you have a crush on. Cube, was it? I... I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Let's just cut to the chase, Blixer. I know you have the artifact, and apparently, also the Guardian as well. Huh, <coughs> yeah. Her, um... Yeah, she... But... I want you to know that I'm not mad, okay? You beat me fair and square, and I condone your efforts to do so. In fact, I want to congratulate you. I was impressed with how you overcame me. Your strategy was undoubtedly clever and unexpected. Um... Okay... However, I do find you to be in a personal dilemma, and I can't help but feel obligated to assist you in your troubles. You see, Blixer, I understand what you're going through right now, and I see that you are desperate for answers. You see, love is a fog of uncertainty and emotions. It can make you feel blissful, with energy to share, or it can tear you down and leave you a shell of your former self. It's easy to get lost in the mist and get overtaken by your emotions to the point that we lose connection to our own cognitive thinking. As a result, we become more recessive to others' strong opinion about us, leading our mental state into a possible turmoil. It's during this time I feel you should receive some assurance from a trustworthy source and gain a second opinion on your misconceptions so that way, you can avoid the damage, or at least, lessen the pain. And that is why I am here, to help your mind see reason, and to guide you to your proper state. You could have just said you wanted to give me relationship advice. Yes, I could have, but that wouldn't have been fun, now would it? You see, Blixer, you should fully give your trust to the Guardian. Clearly, any feelings you think she could possibly have for you are completely false, for she has no interest in you whatsoever. Really? How do you know? Let's just say, I know how people work. Also, I've been listening in on you and Lycan's conversations earlier, and I recall that you mentioned to him something about the Guardian becoming worried about the condition of the Knights, and that, to me, raised some suspicion. I believe that she is up to something more mischievous than she's letting on. So here is my theory. Imagine being in the Guardian's shoes. You've spent your whole life living in that palace to the point that it's become irritatingly boring. You crave for an escape, but you are tied down by your duties. Abolishing your responsibilities now would be detrimental to your image, and you will risk losing your status pampered lifestyle, and your trust with the knights. So you can't just leave if you want to keep your privileges. So, what do you do when you want to have some fun, but don't want to lose your benefits? Use your own kidnapping as an escape goat, so that you can play all you want without any repercussions, and apparently it seems to have worked, because when I finally contained the knights, they were in quite a panic when they saw that their guardian was missing. Surely they thought that she was in some sort of distress. Tell me, Blixer, did she put up a fight when you took her? Um, well, no, she didn't, but... Just as I thought. She's only using you to escape her own personal containment and have a temporary fling, and now you're just a new toy for her to play with. <sighs> 
did say that she felt trapped there. She was probably expecting the knights to come and save her before you became too attached. She must be starting to miss her old accessories. Probably getting bored of you, now, and wondering about her... rendezvous. I see your point, Kyura, but... This doesn't make any sense. She told me- Oh, come on, Blixer! Stop thinking with your emotions and use your brain for once! Every doubt that you had about having a relationship with her did not come without reason. You must learn to trust your instincts so that you can avoid repeating past mistakes. Your doubts are a guide, Blixer. Either read the signs or suffer the consequences. She doesn't love you, Blixer. She only loves the opportunity that you provided for her. If it weren't for me containing the knights, they would have came after you. And once they were done beating the crap out of you, they will take their guardian back and she would have discarded you as a typical thug. All of the moments you two shared with each other will become nothing more than invaluable myths in her eyes. Well then, I shall leave you to decide your own fate. I hope that my words have at least scratched the surface of your thick head. If your heart gets broken, don't say that I didn't warn you. Good morning, Cube! How did you sleep? Pretty good, actually. Um, Lycan, do you know where Blixer is? Boss went out for a walk last night. He should be back soon. Oh, okay then. So, let me ask you a question, Cube. Do you like my boss? Um, yeah. I guess I do like him. He's a bit strange at times, but he's nice. Right, but do you really like him? Like... Really, really like him. Um, I don't understand. Do you love Boss? Oh! I'm not sure how I feel about him, to be honest. I thought we were just going to be good friends, but lately I've been feeling... I don't know. It seems pretty dumb of me to fall in love with someone who kidnapped me. No, it's not dumb. It's not dumb at all. You should totally listen to your heart and tell Boss how you feel about him. Are you sure? What if he doesn't feel the same way? I don't want things to get awkward between us, or him thinking that I'm trying to ruin his way of life. What? Of course you're not ruining his life. That's just silly. Boss loves having you around. I have a feeling that he feels the same way about you too. As a matter of fact, you should tell Boss how you feel about him once he comes back. Do you really think so? Absolutely! 100%! It might even make him happier that you confessed your feelings first. Blixer! Boss! You're finally back! Welcome home! I'm so glad that you're here. I've been wanting to tell you... Um... Blixer? Are you okay? Hey! Boss! Guess what? You don't need to stress about your confession anymore. Because I think Q is gonna make it easy for you. Tell me how to get the power out of this artifact right now! What? I... wait, I don't understand- DON'T PLAY DUMB WITH ME! I KNOW WHAT YOU'VE BEEN DOING THIS WHOLE TIME! What are you talking about, Blixer? BOSS! WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! YOU HAVE BEEN PLAYING ME THIS WHOLE TIME! SELLING ME YOUR CUTE AND INNOCENT ACT TO TRY AND LURE ME IN AND USE ME AS YOUR SCAPEGOAT! Blixer, please! I don't know what you're talking about! BOSS! STOP THIS RIGHT NOW! You think that you're so clever, don't you? Using me to escape your boring duties without any backlash. You never cared about me or your knights. All you cared about was your own plan, your own selfish desires. You are nothing but a spoiled brat who manipulates everyone to do work for you. You're a stupid, worthless shape that deserves to rot for being a heartless witch. Cube, I, I, just don't click on me. <laughs> what was that? I, I don't know. I, 
I didn't, I just... Cube! Wait! Cube! Boss! So, Blixer, did you take my advice? Jura! In the flesh. You know, Blixer, I gotta hand it to you. You always managed to surprise me despite your lack of brain cells. When I got to the palace and saw that the artifact wasn't there, the possibility of you claiming it before me didn't even cross my mind. But now I see that you are more than capable of causing disruptions in my plans than I previously thought. Look, Jura, I know that you're mad at me about taking the artifact. Oh, please! I made a huge mistake! I need to talk to Q! Hmm. Well, you see, I can't quite do that, Mixer, because I intend on holding her hostage so that I can force you to keep your distance and I can proceed with my plans with gaining power from the artifact. No! Wait, Kira! There's something you don't know about the artifact! It's- Been at your place this whole time, and you have yet to figure out how to get the power of it? No! It's Q! She's- The guardian that you have a crush on, but you're too afraid to confess your feelings towards. No! Kira, just listen! No, you listen to me, you darkened grape. Do you have any idea how it feels to spend all of your lifetime and energy looking for the one thing that you desperately need to fix everything in your life, only to have it stolen from you by an idiot that treats the whole scenario like a game? I need this artifact to get back what was taken from me. All you want is the artifact to upgrade your playtime in your edgy lifestyle. Do you even know the things I went through just to make it this far? The things I had to sacrifice! The shapes I had to hurt! The loved ones I had to leave behind! Look, Mixer. I don't want to cause any more harm to you than I already have. But if you interfere with my plans again, I won't hesitate to destroy you. Please. Don't follow us. Wait! Wait! Please! Cuda! Cube! Cube! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> blew it! They blew it! Boss! 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 Are you okay? No, I'm not! How can I be so stupid? All of those awful things I said to her! I didn't mean it! I just... I was... I just... I wasn't thinking! I... I... I messed up! I messed up so badly! How can I say that to her? I was so scared of her rejecting me that I bought into Cuda's stupid lie! And now she doesn't want anything to do with me! She won't even look at me anymore! You're right, boss! You are stupid! And you did mess that up! And because of you, Cuda now has Q! And he's about to get a lot of power from the artifact and destroy us all! You have completely screwed up, boss! You know, Q was actually going to confess her feelings to you when you came back home. But then you had to pull that bullcrap back there and make her cry. You jerk. She, she was? Yeah, she was. She didn't want to admit it because she thought it might ruin your life somehow. Oh my god. What have I done? I'm such an idiot. 
Yes, you are! Now you better go and save her to fix this mess right now! I can... After all this stupid stuff that happened, do you still think I deserve to be loved? Yes, boss. Of course you do deserve to be loved. Everyone does. You may be a stupid jerk at times, but despite all of that, I still believe that you deserve to be happy. So you've made a mistake and messed up your relationship with Q. You can't go back to erase the past. You just have to live with it. But now, you gotta choose to either make up for your mistakes, or let it rule you and remain as a painful stain on your life. Okay, this is not working. This force field is too strong. We need to come up with a different strategy. You're right. But what else can we do? Our energy is still low and Cube is still somewhere out there. We need to find her before- Guys, look! Oh my god! How did he find her? Oh no. He has the artifact too! Cube! Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Cube! You know, Guardian, at first I thought you would be more of a threat to me. The legend described you to be more intimidating. But now that I finally encountered you, I can see that the legend was very misleading. Perhaps to scare you away, outsiders such as myself who want to obtain the artifact's mythical powers. Whatever the case may be, it ultimately had the opposite effect and made me even more determined to find it. <sighs> At long last, I finally have it. Just think, months ago, I used to spend my days researching you, looking into every bit of documentation about the artifact, hoping that it would bring me a step closer to finding it. And now, being here, and being able to finally hold it in my hands feels so surreal. Everything is finally going to change now. And don't worry, Guardian. I have no desire to bring any harm to you. The artifact is all I came here for. I shall release you once I have obtained its powers. Now then, according to ancient history, it's the artifact that ultimately chooses who is worthy to be granted its powers. In order for a shape to be worthy, they must be able to display great physical strength, sharp intelligence, undoubtable loyalty, and a pure heart. Those who are chosen were given the task to protect the artifact and oversee that its powers were spread evenly across the land and to not have it be exploited by those with ill intentions. But history also tells there was one shape who was able to bypass all of the artifact's requirements, and was able to gain all of its powers simply by changing their approach. What is he talking about? And now, I shall do the same. No! No! Wait! You don't know what you're doing! What are they screaming about? Hurting who? Wait. Why is she screaming? I'm not even touching her. Wait. No. It, it can't be. The Guardian and the Artifact, they're... They're... Connected? I... I have to stop! I'm putting her in great pain! But... I, I came this far! I'm so close to achieving my goal! I, I can't stop now! Otherwise it would have all been for nothing! I... I... I'm sorry! I got it! 
gotta admit, Cuda, what you did back there was pretty sneaky. You actually managed to break me. I'll be sure this time not to let it happen again. You have someone that I love, and I'm coming to get her back. Get ready, Cuda, because I'm coming for you now.
Release the artifact. Its powers do not belong to you. <laughs> Is that so? Finally, I assumed that you would be more promised safe action. I am giving you a fair warning. Give me the artifact, and I will spare your life. I see. Very well then. That's how you want to go about it. Then come and get it! you boss be careful this isn't you cube I know it's not please just let me cube stop it we don't need to fight boss get out of there it's not safe cube please don't hurt boss He's really sorry about hurting your feelings earlier! Why you look out! Jube! Ah! Knock it off! Cube! Snap out of it! I don't want to hurt you, Cube! I know what I did earlier. It was stupid and wrong, and I'm sorry! Ah! Oh, boss! Boss, this is getting too dangerous! We can't reason with Cube! We gotta get out of here while we still can! No, I can. Cube is still in there. She's under some kind of mind control. We need to break her free from it. But how, boss? She's not gonna listen to us. She's just gonna slaughter us! can't just leave her like this. I need to get through to her somehow. Cube! I know you're still in there. And I'm not leaving until I fix this.
this is fight with the winter views. I know. I'm far starting to get exhausted. The other guy's corruption is only getting stronger. We can't go on like this forever. We can't go on like this forever. We can't give up. We let this go on for too long. The unfit's energy will come to an stop them. Destroy the world. Places that you know seem like fantasy. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth, the promise in our hearts. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. 